we are going to work out 5 over 6 subtract 2 over 5. Now, whenever you are subtracting fractions or adding fractions, you have to have a common denominator. That means the number at the bottom of both fractions needs to be the same. Now, to decide on your common denominator, you're going to work out the lowest number in both times tables. So I'm going to be working out the lowest number in the 6 and the 5 times tables. This is called the lowest common multiple. Now, for this question here, the lowest common multiple of 5 and 6 is 30. So I'm going to change both fractions to have a denominator of 30. Now, to get from 6 to 30, I've multiplied by 5. Whatever you do to the bottom of a fraction, you have to do to the top. So I'm also going to multiply the top of the fraction or the numerator by 5. 5 times 5 is 25. And then for the second fraction, to get from 5 to 30, I have multiplied by 6. And so I'm going to multiply the numerator by 6 as well. 2 multiplied by 6 gives us 12. So I'm now working out 25 over 30, subtract 12 over 30. When you subtract fractions, you subtract the numerators and leave the denominator the same. 25 subtract 12 is 13 and my denominator stays as 30. So my final answer is 13 over 30.